You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, we will be joined in a bit by our colleague, Ife Oshunke, to talk about the entertainment scene. But before we introduce him, uh, in light of the unfortunate October 2020 alleged genocide and the psychological trauma which has come with it, some have been said to be stronger than others when it comes to coping in these very trying times. And one thing we all have in common is hope. Some celebrities have shown bravery amidst the storm, such as DJ Switch, Fals, the bad guy, who has appeared on CNN to discuss and recount the horrid incident of October 20, uh, among others. All right, and uh, now joining us in the studio is uh, Ife Oluwa Oshunke, our entertainment correspondent, to discuss some of the fears of the Nigerian youths for their favorite celebrities who haven't given up the fight. Uh, Ife, thanks for joining us. Yeah, good morning. It's a pleasure being here as always. Uh, so, so the the conversation about um, psychological trauma and, and all of that is not very common amongst you know Nigerians. Mm. But I'm I'm seeing that there's a lot that happened on Tuesday and of course in the days leading right. up to you know last week mm. Tuesday, um, and it has now become a you know large part of our discussion. Um, how do you think people are currently having to deal with with that? And, you know, All right, so um, I'm, I'm glad I came prepared for this. So um, according to research, right, protest, even when not violent, yeah, can be associated with adverse mental health outcomes. That is using this medium to call on, and then we're now using this medium to call on healthcare professionals to be vigilant on the mental and psychological sequela of protest riots revolutions and things like that. Now, we have seen so many of its kind. We saw the 2012 subsidy protest as well. We saw things that were, that wasn't violent. That didn't turn out the way this day, but I can tell you that it had adverse effect on the mental health of a lot of people, even though they can't come out to say it because we Which, don't. Who are some of the celebrities that are showing, that are coming out? Okay, we know now, that uh, DJ's Yeah, DJ Switch. Switch, when she released the live video, like 10 minutes, she was, all, she was in tears, not even almost in tears. She had sustained injuries she did not even know about while she was making those live videos. Now, now, that should show you the intensity of that moment she was in. Someone died on her. Somebody was shot while the person was trying to protect her. How do you think she's going to relieve that memory for the rest of her life? And these are things that uh, medical health practitioners are not paying attention to because aside um, getting through this, even if we get everything we ask for, at the end of the day, how are they going to be able to cope? Will this affect them getting back to the society, living normal life? Will they be paranoid? You know, those are the things that we should be looking at. And a lot of Nigerian youths are also saying that, look, these guys needs to be, they need to be protected because some are even saying that, oh, let's take them to a safe house because we don't know what is going to happen next, especially when we've seen a lot of Sherlock Holmes stuff yeah, going on in Nigeria. Yeah. Well, what, 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 what about the <laughs> situation movies. with uh, Fals, uh, the bad guy? We know he was on CNN uh, recently. Yeah. Uh, what's the story around that? What are people responding uh, to, um, saying about that interview? Okay, a lot of people think he reviewed too much, talking about the state of the nation, and he wasn't in a position to talk about it. But I totally disagree. It's just um, what people were saying. But I think that it's, let's call a spade a spade. It was with um, Amon Paul, and then he, he, he spilled everything that we have been talking about. So we don't even need a Faust the bad guy for an Paul to know about it, or for the international community to know what is going on in the country. It is public knowledge already. So if I was b the bad guy, it's just stating the obvious. Well, well, why do you sure think why. some of the, these specific celebrities, um, this uh, files the bad guy? We also know uh, Banner Boy has been also on an international yes. platform. Why the specifics of these celebrities? There are other celebrities who are in the front line for this one. We know Tua Savage, for instance, mm -hmm. has been vocal on social media She even and called out Beyonce and um, Tina, Tina had to reply. That's Beyonce's more. Mom saying that, uh, that, look, you can't be 
calling out my daughter when you have direct contact with her, saying that it's not the role of celebrities to, we're not your political leaders. Do you understand? So I know the, the, um, there's the sense of entitlement that come with fans that feel like when the celebrities didn't talk about it, we called them out. Now that they're talking about it, we called them out. Now that they've stopped talking about it, we are still calling them out. And we need to know that these trolls also affect these guys one way or another. One thing Files the Bad Guy said that really caught my attention was um, they can't bring my spirits down. That is somebody is trying. So, but I think we should see the Files the Bad Guy um, um, video and um, I think that should come up. We'll take it from yeah. there. I mean, this was never a sprint. You know, I think we always knew this was a marathon. And what is most exciting about this is what we've built. There's an energy, there's a... There's a sense, there's a resilient spirit that we've built. There's a unity, there's a oneness, and everyone is together in this fight. And we know that it's going to continue going for a while, but we're ready. We're we're ready to keep it going. It's 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 really unfortunate. We lost we lost a lot of soldiers. Um, it's been a tough it's, it's been a tough past past two weeks. In in fact, you know everyone that has been that has fallen um, as a result of police brutality as a result of the the gruesome um, acts of the military that we saw last week. <sighs> but the least we could do is to make sure that they get justice. That's the least we could do. And I swear on my life, I would do everything within my power to make sure that justice is served. As far as... Um he is uh, something you mentioned earlier about you know people criticizing him for sharing. Mm. Um, a lot of people have been on interviews. I should say has done a lot of interviews with Timmy Dakolo. I think it was mm. also with Files with um, um, uh, Aisha Yusuf. There's so many people who have said you know a lot of, about what's going on. Right. Um, so I'm not I'm not sure why you know Files's own you know is different. Um, because um, if you remember, he he, he led or he co-led the protest alongside Ron Town. Right when it was at its peak. Now that was when a whole lot of celebrities came out. Now this is somebody, and that's why he even got more international recognition than any of these other people you've called because he led the protest that brought out all the celebrities, at least most of them, even if they were not there for the 12 days. That particular day, I can tell you, statistically speaking, that at least 60% of celebrities came out on that day alone. Now, that made him very relevant, and um, that makes him a target as well, if we want well, to well, just, just to um, give it a, a, um, a switch to the conversation, uh, yeah. some of the celebrities have come out to say, this is not about us. Mm. We should have started this movement a long time ago, before right. the other people uh, came up. What about the unsung soldiers that he talked about? What are these? Are, are you aware of anything that these celebrities are doing to, you know, the amplify... The names okay, of so these I know the there's a, I know I know there's a concert coming up. Um, YJ is going to be there. Um, Two, Two Face is going to be there, and they're they're saying that music is a powerful tool. So they are not giving up. Yes, they can chase us off the streets. They can chase us off our, our, uh, away from our homes, but. Music is something that is universal. Music will travel the world. So when these guys come out and put a musical concert together, still addressing these issues, how will we not listen? So I think they're still, one way or another, working at it and making sure that we're ahead. But one thing, one key word that has been constant with all these celebrities is trauma, stress, tr fear, dark place, dirt, trolls. Do you understand? And I think those keywords should be paid attention to. And the celebrities, you should know that they are humans as well. They are trying their best. And um, we shouldn't just put the onus on them to just do justice. We all have a voice and we all should be heard. It's my fight and it's your fight. Is there any, uh, any um, views about those who have been, haven't been too vocal um, about you know, what the last three weeks have been you know, all about? Um, yeah, there's, there's been conversations around it, but I think people are trying to be more sensitive, especially with the celebrities, when, especially when we've seen what went down on um, October 20, 2020. That, that was a very dark day. And we saw that a lot of people are saying that, how come none of the celebrities were declared missing, dead? 
now. Is that what we're hoping for? Now, a lot of people feel like the celebrities have pre they had privileged information before the protest. That why were they not on the protest ground October twenty? Like a lot of them had the information. Did so you don't speak come to out the there. Celebrity, isn't she? She won't. Yes, she's around. just one of many compared to how many of them were there a day before. before. All right. But, uh, well. That's what I'm yeah, telling you. Just it's a lot. It's just so, that's what I'm just saying. so it's much. People's opinion is so much. It's so, so much. Sometimes and we put so much pressure on the celebrities, and we just don't remember that they're human. If I've been on the protest ground for for ten days out of thirteen days, um, I, I, I deserve a day. There's always some a break. conspiracy theory. Yeah, you know, all the, the other. other. Yes. Yeah, so, so. Want to thank you very much, Ifoshin Kaya, for coming on the breakfast You're this welcome. morning. Always a pleasure. Yeah, do take care. Yeah.